Uh, hello everyone, this is Li Tinghu. Today I'm going to talk about DART, a scalable and adaptive edge stream processing engine. IoT applications such as self-driving cars, interactive gaming, event monitoring have a tremendous potential to improve our lives. These applications generate a large amount of sensor data every second. On many time-critical scenarios, these massive data streams must be processed in a very short time to drive actionable intelligence. However, today most IoT applications adopt the server client architecture. So let us see this uh, figure. The IoT sensors uh, transfer data by using edge gateways and routers and then send back to the cloud for offline analysis. So the long distances between the sensors and the cloud may cause many issues. For example, the high latency may cause results to expire. The network infrastructure may not be able to afford these massive data streams. It is expected in 2025 there will be over 40 billion connected IoT devices generating over 79 zettabytes of data. So we have different thoughts. Uh, can we apply stream processing tacticals to the edge infrastructure? So the key idea of edge stream processing is to move the computation from the cloud to the data sources, that is gateways and routers for processing. Then data streams can be continually generated and analyzed in a real, real time. As shown in this figure, uh, we have sensors continually generate streams that carry timestamps. And these streams are consumed by a stream processing engine. This engine creates a logical topology of edge nodes in a directed acyclic graph. Process tuple as they flow through the topology and output the results for the cloud in real time. The source nodes are sensors, the sync nodes are actators or message queue to the cloud, and the inner nodes are uh, edge gateways or routers that run stream operators such as map, reduce, join, filter, or machine learning algorithms. Edge stream processing will have many interesting use cases. Uh, for example, for the future intelligence transportation system, uh, all cars will be encrypted with internet access. On the front end, uh, each car generates a lot of data streams from linder, radar, camera, cell phones, and many onboard sensors. On the back end, many IoT stream applications uh, can concurrently run on top of these live data streams to create insights and make actions. Examples include peer-to-peer -peer service for traffic control or car sharing safety systems. Um, here we list uh, several applications in the right. Note that many of these services cannot be completed on onboard computers within a single car. Instead, it requires the cooperation of many computers, edge routers, gateways, within sensors and actators of source and synchies. So, and uh, um, here's our goal. Our goal is to build a scalable and adaptive edge stream processing engine for these IoT stream applications. We aim to achieve the following goals. Uh, first, uh, the system is expected to have a good performance in terms of quick topology uh, deployment and a low len query latency. Uh, second, the system is expected to scale well with the large number of concurrent running applications that have diverse topologies. And the third, the system is expected to adapt well to the edge dynamics and recover from failures. And however, we are facing significant challenges to achieve these goals. Uh, so the first challenge to build this edge stream processing engine is how to scale to the large number of concurrent running IoT stream applications. Uh, due to the fast growing of new IoT sensors and the devices, the number of concurrent running IoT stream applications will be significantly large. However, existing studies such as Storm, Flink, Spark most inherits the centralized master-slave architecture. 
uh, or show this left figure. So the central master is managing all applications. The responsibilities includes accepting new applications, passing uh, DAGs into stages, mapping operators onto nodes, and monitoring their status. <clears throat> it may run well in the cloud. However, when it comes to the AG environments where there are many concurrent running applications, this centralized architecture may easily become a scalability bottleneck. Uh, this is because the most use a uh, first come, first serve approach to deploy applications, which cause the application to wait a long queue and thus leads to the high deployment latency. And the second, they limit themselves to a fixed execution model and lack the flexibility for data flow path planning. Um, and we have the second challenge. The second challenge is how to adapt to the age dynamics. IoT stream applications runs in a very high dynamic environment. Um, unlike the cloud servers, age nodes live or fail more frequently and unexpectedly. And unlike cloud servers, edge nodes have very limited computing resources, such as few core processors, a little memory, little permanent storage, and no back pressure. Uh, so therefore, the previous technicals are used for the cloud, such as uh, reallocating additional resources or buffering the data at data sources, cannot apply to the edge environments. And here is our solution. So the key innovation of the DART design is that in sharp contracts to existing stream processing systems, in the DART system, there, there is no monolithic master. DART involves all peer nodes to jointly make operator mapping decisions, thereby revolutionary improving scalability and adaptivity. Um, the uh, lowest is that we use distributed hash table based peer to peer overlay networks to decompose the system architecture from 1 to n to m to n. So, this is very similar to what we did in BT Towers. Uh, you know, in BT Towers, there's no clients and servers. Everyone has the same duty. If someone downloads a file, the file is downloaded from many other nodes in the system that already have the file. At the same time, you may also upload the file to others which ask for it. So many machines work collaboratively to undertake the task of downloading and uploading uh, files. So similar to it, we will enable distributed nodes in the Dart system to work collaboratively to undertake the, the task of uh, the original single masters. Uh, here is the Dart system overview. Dart consists of three layers. The first layer is the DHT based consistent ring overlay. All edge nodes, such as routers, gateways, and power sensors, are self organized into a DHT based overlay. Each node is assigned a unique load ID in a large circular load ID space. Load ID is used for routing the stream data. It is guaranteed that no matter where the data is generated, the data can be routed to any destination nodes within all logon hops. The second layer is the dynamic data flow abstraction. The key innovation is that we leverage the DHT-based routing protocol to approximate the path between the source nodes and the sync nodes. which can automatically place and chain operators to form a data flow graph for any stream application. The third layer is the scaling and failure recovery mechanisms. Every node has a locking table and a leaf set. The leaf set contains physically closed nodes to these nodes. We use the leaf set nodes to scale up and out operators and replicate operators to handle failures and strugglers. Um, here we uh, use an example of the process of building the dynamic data flow graph for an IoT stream application. So uh, it has three steps. First, we organize distributed edge nodes into peer-to-peer -peer overlay networks. 
Second, given a stream application, we map the uh, source nodes to the sensors, we map the sync nodes to the IoT actuators. Third, uh, we enable every node source node to send a join message towards the key. The key is the hash of the sync nodes node ID because all source nodes belonging to the same application have the same key. Their information will converge to a join point that is the sync nodes. Then we keep a records of the nodes that this message passing through during routings link them together to um, reversely form the data flow graph for this application. For the elastic scaling mechanism, the challenge is that um, how to auto scale applications operator to adapt to the age dynamics. Um, our solution is that we design a heuristic approach that consider many factors. Uh, if it is a computational bottleneck, we scale up and down to increase or decrease the uh, number of instances within a node. If it is a bandwidth bottleneck, we are going to scale out the, to initiate new, inst new instances on another node to increase the network path diversity. And for the failure recovery mechanism, the challenge is that how to resume the processing without losing intermediate data. Um, there are many approaches such as replication and checkpointing, and our approach is to use in racial codes. Uh, the larger the memory states is divided, replicated, and checkpointed to each node's leaf sets nodes by using racial codes. Once any failure happens, the backup nodes will take over and retrieve the state fragments from a subset of the leaf set nodes to recompute the states and resume the processing. And there's no central master to enable this failure recovery mechanism. And here's the implementation of the Dart system. Instead of implementing the Dart system from scratch, we implement Dart on top of Apache Froom and the Pastry software well stack. Froom is a distributed service for collecting and aggregating large amount of streaming data, which is widely used in Kafka and Spark ecosystem. Pastry is a DHT overlay network, which is widely used to many peer-to-peer -peer applications such as Bitcoin and BitTorrent. And we leverage their excellent runtime system, routing substrate and events transportation layer to implement the Dart system. And here's the overview of the Dart system implementation. Um, the Dart system has two components, a set of distributed schedulers that span uh, geographically zones and a set of workers. Unlike traditional systems that manually assign static scheduler or workers, stars will autom dynamically assign loads of schedulers and workers. While a new application joins, needs to look for the nearby scheduler by using the gossip protocol. If there's no nearby scheduler, the system will create a new a scheduler in that zone. Uh, we deploy a large number of applications simultaneously to demonstrate the scalability of our system. We compare Dart with AgeWise and Storm. A result showed that Dart significantly reduced the uh, queue wait time and the deployment time, especially when handling a large number of concurrent running applications. The gap increases as the number of concurrent running applications increase. So this is because unlike AgeWise or Storm, um, so this age-wise and the storm, they both use a centralized architecture. Their queue waiting time and deployment time increase linearly as the number of applications increase. In contrast, Dart avoids scalability bottleneck because Dart's decentralized architecture does not rely on any centralized master to, to deploy dark and analyze darks. Uh, so in conclu to conclude, to our knowledge, DARS is the first of its kind fully decentralized age stream processing 
engine is leverage distributed hash table based peer to peer overlay network to create a decentralized architecture. It builds a dynamic data flow abstraction to automatically place, chain, scale, and recover stream operators. Therefore, it has a great potential to explore extreme scalability. There are, um, however, there are also many unsolved challenges. For example, how to op optimize the data shuffling service how to adapt to the age networks heterogeneity and hardware heterogeneity and all of them are very interesting questions to explore further in the near future uh, thank you very much for listening to this talk